president very upset today railing against income inequality in America. I believe this is the defining challenge of our time, making sure our economy works for every working American. That's why I ran for president. The combined trends of increased inequality and decreasing mobility pose a fundamental threat to the American dream, our way of life, and what we stand for around the globe. You know, I hate to be the one to point this out to the president and his speechwriters, but the president isn't giving that speech in 2007 or 8. The president has been in office for crying out loud for five years. The economic failures that he is slamming are not George Bush's, they're not Bill Clinton's, they are his. And yes, the Obama record poses a fundamental threat to the American dream for millions of Americans. He's got that right. Take a look under Mr. Obama. The income gap, four times faster, measured by comparing average wages to median wages, has expanded roughly four times faster than it did during George W. Bush's terms in office. Under President Obama, 6.7 million more Americans have fallen into poverty. Under this president, the same one who had the, the utter audacity to stand before cameras and speak as though he has absolutely been uninvolved in policy for the past five years. I, I mean, an extraordinary thought. The number of workers receiving disability benefits under his administration over the course of the past five years has risen by 20% to almost 9 million people. 9 million. Under President Obama, the number of people receiving food stamps has risen by nearly 50% to nearly 48 million Americans. Under President Obama, 21.6 million Americans are now unemployed, underemployed, or given up looking for work. Under President Obama, the average duration of unemployment has nearly doubled from 19.8 weeks to more than 36 weeks. And today, President Obama joined the nearly 70% of voters who say the United States is now headed in the wrong direction. You know, so often it seems we say, you can't make this stuff up. Joining us now, author, radio talk show host, Fox News contributor, Monica Crowley, radio talk show host, Fox News contributor, David Webb, and Matt Patrick, radio talk show host on Houston's KPRC and KTRH. Monica, I've got to ask you, have you ever seen a president be so deeply critical and profoundly punishing of his own administration <laughs> over the course of five years. Well, I think on a superficial level, Lou, you're absolutely right, but I think- with, I made it with, superficially? With, well, no, not you, but I think on, on an obvious <laughs> level, you're correct. It doesn't look like he's slamming his own presidency here, but let's go a little bit deeper. I don't think it's a big mystery as to who Barack Obama is. I think he is, you can call it socialism. Let me remind you of the statism, question here, Monica. I hate leftism. to do this. The question think, was, have you ever seen a president no, be I this haven't. deeply critical of I his own not, administration? I have not, but I've never seen a president like Barack Obama. A normal American will look at all of the things you just talked about and see a disaster. I think Obama in the far left sees a rousing success. Why? Because the ultimate objective is to move as many people into government dependency as possible. He is succeeding. David? Let's counter this with the president's own words. When they talk about the economy, from time to time, they say it's headed in the right direction. We're getting better. These are their words, Lou, to go against their own facts. To answer your question, how do you counter Obama with Obama? It's fundamentally what Monica is talking about, the role of government. He sees the change being successful for him. And he's not really being critical. He's just not being honest with the American people, because the American people live in that honesty. That is their reality. Matt Patrick, what do you think? I think, first of all, here to be here and with David and Monica and you, Lou, uh, what, what, a, what an awesome night I'm having and in a red jacket. But I have to agree with Monica. Can we Monica. just stop you right this there was... while we kind of just take in that red jacket? <laughs> I mean, that's, a, that's hey. some kind of jacket party. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And, I, and I'm, I'm in a red state. I'm uh, in a red state. Good but man. listen, I, I, Monica's absolutely right. This is by design. This is what the president <laughs> wants. And he stands up there and he, he pretends to be upset but this is exactly the plan. The more people that he can get on the government dole, the better he likes it. 
And we are going to see more and more economic news like this because that's what the president wants to do. This is all part of the game. And listen, this guy's pretty good at playing the game. He's a pretty good speech maker. All the things that you are seeing the president do right now have been plotted out, and I think it's all part of what we will continue to see while he's still in office. Now, I don't want to scare you, Matt. I don't want to scare you, Monica, David. But what if, what if his plan isn't to create this dependency, but rather to continue through incompetence and just terrible ideas and administration? He continues to fail, and he is somehow projecting some sort of a mind control upon you to make you think that instead of failing, he's actually <laughs> succeeding. We're going to be yeah. back in just one second with our panel. Uh, we're right here, and uh, we'd like you to stay with us. Uh, we're coming right back. I want to find out what uh, Matt and Monica and David think about the millennials. They're turning on this guy. They're showing more sense than a lot of other folks in this country. And we'd like you to join the discussion with us tonight on Twitter. You can follow us at Lou Dobbs News on Twitter. Go to our Facebook page. Find the links at LouDobbs.com. Up next, Harry Reid of all people offering John Boehner a strategy to get a Republican elected president. It begins with the word amnesty. Oh, man. Stay with us. We're coming right back.